and the wheels fell off immediately before it hit the inflatable giraffe. And now it's time for the weather with Jim... Ooh, that's not the weather. Uh, Ray, you're live on air. Today, our intrepid reporter Ray is once again somewhere very exotic and, dare I say it, dangerous. What's happening, Ray, and have you finished your lunch yet? I'm here in the Sahahaha Desert. Rather you than me, Ray. <laughs> Hold on, where did you say? Don't you mean Sahara Desert? Nope. This is the Sahahaha Desert. Never heard of it. Are you sure it's not the Sahara? Ugh. The Sahahaha Desert is twice as hot, and therefore twice as deadly as any other desert in the world. There's no such place, Ray, which makes you twice as stupid. Anyway, whatever. I'm here because there's been reports of a huge plague of man-eating locusts around here. Even though I'm an incredibly brave reporter, I don't want to take any chances. So I'm wearing this special protective gear, which I've been told will withstand... You're a <laughs> What was that, Ray? Oh dear, sorry about that. It looks as though Ray's gone down with a bit of a bug. Naked and balancing small decorative carvings on their heads. <clears throat> in other news, hundreds of mysterious crop circles have appeared in cornfields across Illinois. And our roving reporter Ray is there, right now. Yes, Kat, I'm standing in the center of one of these so-called crop circles as we speak. Amazing, Ray. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm a great believer in the existence of extraterrestrials. I've heard that they abduct people and replace their brains with sawdust, rendering them completely stupid and devoid of any personality. <laughs> Have you ever been abducted by aliens, Ray? Um, no, Cat. Wh what makes you think that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Ray, this is all very mysterious. Are you completely sure this isn't the work of extraterrestrials? Absolutely, Cat. Everyone knows that crop circles are made by pranksters, probably art students, to make us think that the aliens are coming. You know, making a crop circle isn't as difficult as you think. All you need is a ball of string and a plank of wood. You simply tie the string to the center of the plank and anchor the other end of the string to the center of your crop circle. Then it's just a matter of flattening the crop as you shorten the string. Other methods include wearing really big shoes and using beard trimmers in conjunction with... <sighs> so definitely not the work of aliens, then. That's good to know. Thanks, Ray. And that's all from us here at Channel Z News. Hello, Tutu. Hi. I wonder what you will find today. I wonder what it could be. Let's tell everyone that you found something. Hey, Mark! Hello. Oh, dear. I think the washing was too heavy. Hey, look! Tutu found something. Let's go and see. A handle. What is that doing here? It makes a great swing! <laughs> me! Me! <laughs> Careful, Mop. It doesn't look very... Oof. Strong. Oof. Oh, look what you've discovered! It looks like a colourful mask, Yim Yam. Maybe you can ride on it. Oof. It might be a little bit too heavy. Oof. Look! It's a kite. It can fly in the sky. Wow! Oh, hold on, Tutu. 
Oh, no! Well done, Mop. Now it won't fly away. Ah, good thinking, Mop. Now you can get all your washing dry. <laughs> mile-an-hour tales. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood was on her way to visit her granny, who lived deep in the forest. Little did she know that a big bad wolf was on the prowl. Where are you going? he asked. I'm going to visit my granny in the cottage down the lane. The wolf suggested that she take some flowers to her granny. And while she wasn't looking, he ran on ahead. When he got to the cottage, the wolf found granny in bed and swallowed her in one gulp. But the wolf was still hungry, so he came up with a cunning plan. He disguised himself as granny, got into her bed, and settled in to wait. Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage and found her granny in bed. She thought that granny looked a little different and said, Granny, what big ears you have? The wolf replied, All the better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what enormous scary and bloodshot eyes you've got. All the better to see you with, my dear. And granny, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. And the wolf swallowed Little Red in one gulp before falling fast asleep. The woodsman came by and heard the wolf snoring. You're not granny, he said, and quick as a flash, he cut the wolf open, freeing granny and Little Red Riding Hood. Then the woodsman, Granny and Little Red Riding Hood enjoyed some tea and cake. And as for the wolf, he decided to go on a diet. 